Now, it's time for Attack or Defend, where Mr. X and Uber fight over who is smarter, and in the end, everyone realizes that it was me all along. So, as we know, the NYXL have locked up the number one seed and will get a bye into the first round of the playoffs this season. They still have six matches to play this stage. Matches that mean absolutely nothing outside of possible stage playoff implications. So the first point is that the NYXL should take it easy for the rest of the stage and save energy for the playoffs. Uber, you can start. Attack or defend? I'll defend this. I think taking if they take it easy, they're going to make it into this stage playoffs anyway at this stage. Already got four wins under their belt. There's no incentive to try to risk burning players out or even showing some st strategies you'd rather save. The patch will change coming into the playoffs, but they can use this time now to prepare for that one and start to theorycraft and scout other players. So, so I'm going to, to attack this. I think you can kind of coast through the next two weeks, but I would try some different strategies. A lot like how we saw Pine play some Genji and Save LB play some Junkrat the other day. I would try and mix up some of the roles that these players increase versatility and then those final two games of the season really go hard I think you throw players off of what they're trying to you know kind of game plan against NYXL by mixing up their roster a little bit I think it only sets you up better down the road I'm I, confused I, I agree I agree I think what you said is that they should take it easy play some unorthodox strats yeah. and not See, show anything I know how so. to get into the mind of Monty <laughs> yeah that's that's right however you think that means going hard I think that means taking it no, easy yeah. so I think I think it's gonna be all about these guys our roster oh. that's it it's a bunch of sandbags right now, so Uber, I think, is going to win this Why one. Why is be sandbag so sad? He's, he's, the, <laughs> he's the limpest sandbag. <laughs> All right. So uh, next up, the London Spitfire went 2-0 in Week 2 and moved back into second place in the overall season standings. But teams two through eight are very tightly packed in terms of record and map differential. And we have a couple spoiler teams like the Fuel and the Shock uh, that may be able to knock people out of the playoffs. So do we agree with the standings? The London Spitfire are the second best team in the league right now at this very moment. Mr. X, you can go first on this one, attack or defend. I'm gonna defend this. I think that London is the second best team in the league right now. I think there's a lot of teams underneath them that can make a case, but I think, you know, it's so inconsistent in that like two through six range. That I think you just look at the wealth of talent they have on this roster and you think, you know, they're going to get stronger playing with just the six from now on. They're gonna be our second best team coming into the playoffs. I think uh, right now they're just starting to come out of their slump. So I, I, I attack this. I actually think the Gladiators consistently winning that particular matchup and I think that the gladiators can just not throw to teams that they should otherwise beat I believe that they're actually a better team than London Ooh, I sort of agree with both of you like at this very moment as we're standing here like I love your point but I also think that a lot of fans should be hoping yeah. that London is the second best team by the time the playoffs rolls around because I think they're the only team that's going to give London like a run for their money but I have to say right now I think London needs more time. I think in one week from now, you might be right. But right just now, got dabbed all over. <laughs> oh, I, I just see the future. Just watch. London will be the second best team. Well, I agree with you. And oh. like I said, we better hope that's true because if we want a great final in this oh, league, yeah. we want that to be a true yeah. story. So this, this feels like a league that is giving us like not is potentially giving us not a very close grand final, and I'm not about that life. Yeah. But but <laughs> we know what London could be in their top form. Yep. So that's yep. that's exciting. <clears throat> all right, last one. Fissure made an appearance at the London Spitfire house over the weekend, sporting his Spitfire jersey. We all know he used to play for London. Perhaps he pines for it a bit now. But now that he's a gladiator, are we okay with this? Fissure hanging with his old teammates in his Spitfire jersey, Uber, attack or defend? I'm gonna defend this, I love this. It's like a <laughs> subliminal way of letting his team know he's like, that's right. You keep practicing with that pro pay mentality or I'm pissing off back to the spinner. Because uh -huh. like, he was like, that's he had to get the gladiators to try and change the mentality when he first joined them. He said there was a clash there and they were a little bit lax on it. So this is light a fire under them and remind them where oh, he's going to go. I, I got to attack this. You can't just rock up in there with the jersey on again. Yeah. Like, hey, yo, what are these He's doing? like, please like, take me back. The Sheriff was probably looking at his phone like seeing that and he's like, oh no, Bird Ring just had a really good week. Uh, <laughs> uh, now he's got the jersey on again. He's like, oh, we're going back to I Remix. Oh no. All right. <laughs> I, I, think, I think Mr. X is going to win, win this one. I was actually there for that dinner as well, so it was really funny because he just walked by me in well, a jersey, that? and I was just like, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but Mitch wins yeah. overall this week. Still undefeated. Good job, Still undefeated. Uber. Definitely undefeated. And this is uh, his tactical crouching victory. What's, what's we dabbing him? That's yep. right. Uh, he's, he's dabbing and 
bagging at the same time. So I guess we call that. See that? We call it. One? We call we, it the oh, D bag. Oh, we, we don't even call it. That stuff <laughs> that we, we, we all know the horrible bands. That's that the dad the meets the Dilmar dunk, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome. <laughs> Dilmar dunk. What the hell is that? Dilmar's a brand of tea. I'll let you figure oh. it out. <laughs> all right, guys.